also, I, I was thinking last night, and, and it, uh, you know, something kind of occurred to me because, uh, uh, thanks to Daniel Cormier's presence here yesterday, something, something occurred to me, and I feel like I really needed to, to share it. Um, confidence is such an important part of what we do. Like, believing in yourself and believing where your level is is such a huge factor in, in what we do every day. And for example, you know, I, I had a lot of success uh, in high school because, in high school wrestling, because, you know, my attitude, no one was going to touch me, no one was going to take me down, no one was going to fucking beat me. They just weren't. They weren't going to beat me. Uh, then I got to college. I started wrestling in college. My attitude changed. And uh, it, it became, you know, I'm going to try to compete with these guys. I'm going to try to try to beat these guys. I hope I can be as good as these guys. So my attitude shifted from a dominant attitude, dominant confident, confident attitude, to a submissive kind of, oh, I think maybe I can do this. And it showed my record. I had a horrible first few years uh, wrestling in college. Um, it wasn't until my, my junior year, junior senior year, where I, where I flipped the switch and started thinking, okay, I can compete with these guys. Um, I'm on the level with these guys. I'm as good as these guys. And it was still, <clears throat> it was still only average, you know. My, my college career, I was only like 44 and 46 overall. That's not, not, that, not that good. Um, of course, we was wrestling the Big Ten, but still, it wasn't that good. And it, part of that was, was the attitude. But still, that attitude changed from, I'm going to try, I might be as good, I think I can do it, to, okay, I'm as good, you know, I can beat some of these guys. And then my attitude changed when we moved out to California. And that's when I really started having success as an athlete. It wasn't like some, some miracle thing that I did, some miracle workout. It was the attitude. I started realizing, I'm better than these people. These people can't beat me. These guys can't touch me. They can't take me down. They can't hurt me. And that attitude shift put me in a position where I've lost one fight in what? Eight years? I lost a GSP. <clears throat> Not a bad loss. And it's a lot of that is, is that attitude. I mean, you have to have confidence in the team you train with, the trainers you have. You're at AKA. This is one of the world's best fucking gyms ever. And you're training on it. You're a part of it. Okay? And a little bit of this is, is for Wayne, because Wayne has all the talent he needs, all the ability he needs to be a champion, but he lacks confidence. And I see that in his sparring, I see that in his fights. And it's a, it's a switch, it's easy to turn. It is. It sounds like it's a hard thing to turn, but it's not. It's easy to turn that switch. And something that, that, that really drove it home to me yesterday was DC. Yesterday, when uh, I mentioned something about, you know, turning angles and hesitating on, on the takedown. <clears throat> and he says, yeah, don't hesitate, just take the shot. I mean, you're not going to take me down anyways. Just take the shot. <laughs> right? And that's the attitude. This guy's a freaking Olympian. That's why. It's no miracle. It's his attitude. He doesn't walk out on that mat. Who in this gym is going to take you down, DC? No way. He doesn't hesitate. He doesn't hesitate. Cain Valesquez fucking trains at this gym. And he says, without hesitation, nobody's taking you down. All right? That's not arrogance. That's confidence. He knows where he came from. He knows where he's been. He knows what he's done. He knows who he's surrounded by. So you guys, fucking realize it. Flip that switch. I just, I was thinking that last night, and it stuck with me. That one little tiny comment DC made yesterday, it stuck with me, and I felt like I, I needed to bring it up, because it's a huge deal. It's a huge part of what we do, and uh, it's a big reason. It's what separates the good from the elite. It really is. It's, but you got to remember, too, the new guys, too, it's almost like a slap in the face when you guys, I see you guys stomping the mat, punching the wall, when you guys get taken down by us or when you guys get hit with something. or It's almost like slapping our face, saying, like, no, I, I, I know I the confidence. It. I like it. I want you to have the confidence. I want you to be pissed off that I took you down. I want you to be pissed off that I whipped your ass sparring. That's good, because it's just going to make you better. It's just going to make you work harder. In my opinion. That's all I got to say. Come by and eat some food tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> she she eat eat it with shit. confidence, damn it. With confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Shovel that shit in. <laughs> 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 <laughs>